Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and this video. I'll be sharing about the first week of my experiences being a grab worker in Bukit Batok, Singapore. So I'm actually a full-time student and currently is the school holidays. Hence, I wanted to try out being a grab food delivery personnel and see what it is all about. I chose to be a walker since I don't have any bicycles or e-bikes or any other uh, form of vehicles. However, I might be considering getting a bicycle soon though. Let's see how that pans out. So I ordered the Grab Walker starter pack as you can see. And these are the items that you will get. Lah. Okay, one sling bag, one halal bag and two uh, short sleeve or long sleeve shirts up to you you can choose the whole pack will cost sixty dollars and if you choose home delivery there is an additional charge however because i'm a new sign up right i received the welcome code that helped to offset the six dollar delivery charge so i naturally opted for home delivery the starter pack was delivered to my house within two days and only after the pack was delivered my grab driver app was activated and i could start doing um, delivery jobs the next few clips are about how many orders i got and how much i earned in the first week so this is day one as you can see which is the day after my account was activated i managed to get one order so this is on a tuesday uh, afternoon my very first order was from McDonald's near my place and the customer's house wasn't too far away, only 1.09 kilometers. First ever grab food order, I earned $4.30. Okay lah, something better than nothing lah. Okay. Day 2, unfortunately, I received no orders. Even though I was online from 10am to 2pm, and then after that, from 4pm to 8pm, I got no orders. Day 3 was slightly better as I received one order. This probably is one of the shortest walks ever. Lah, from the merchant to the customer's place, as you can see from the map, uh, it's about 0 0.13 kilometers. That's like 130 meters. So I earned $4 for walking 130 meters. Not bad, right? Day 4 was a much better one. Uh, I had 3 orders in total. So first order was from McDonald's. Followed by the second order was from Kofu in Westmall. Uh, Westmall is the shopping mall just beside Bukit Batok MRT station. Lah. And then the third order was again from McDonald's. So in total, on day 4, I earned $12.50 and I walked a total distance of 2.49 kilometers. Day 5, and this is a Saturday morning, I had two orders. First order was, you guessed it, McDonald's again. And then the second order was from Rongki Roasted Delights at block 109. So in total for day 5, I earned $8.20 and walked a total distance of 1.55 kilometers. To summarize, my total earnings for the week was $29.00. And the total distance I walked is 5.26 kilometers. Now I must add that this distance of 5.26 click doesn't include the distance from my house to the respective merchants or from a customer place to another merchant's address. This 5.26 is only accounting for the distances from merchant to customer. So I can safely say that I did walk more than 5.26 kilometers lah. Now, I have to add that, uh, you know, in comparison to those uh, who are delivering on bicycles and PABs are earning, 
you know obviously this twenty nine dollars is way too little lah. You know these guys can easily earn thirty dollars within a day or within a couple of hours. But however, I also watched another Grab Walkers video on YouTube, and I think he stays near Sengkang or Punggol. But for him, he seems to be getting a a reasonable amount of orders uh, back to back. So I'm not so sure if uh, my location is a good place to be a Grab Walker or whether I'm not just you know being online enough. So um. Maybe I'll just do as a grab worker for one more week and see how things are before I come to a conclusion, lah. So, uh, just some things to take note of, and these things I only realized after my account was activated and after I started doing deliveries. And this information is not available during the onboarding by Grab. So apparently, you have to complete these two courses that you see on the screen. Before you are able to turn off auto accept, so you have to attend this uh, service and food hygiene and occupational safety for delivery personnel. And only after you complete these courses, I understand that uh, this auto accept feature will be activated for you. So as you can see, I'm unable to turn off auto accept. Okay, so um, I got this info from another Grab. Uh, delivery personnel. I uh, actually watched this YouTube video. Uh, it's Grab Adventures. The YouTube channel is called Grab Adventures. So uh, do check his channel out. It's very informative, and I uh, just want to give a shout out to uh, Grab Adventures, lah. So thank you, bro, for the info. So these two courses are offered at Nian Poly, and I've placed the description. I've placed the details in the description box below. So on Grab's website, they are not saying that it is compulsory for you to attend these courses, but they are just saying that it is highly encouraged. So I'm not so sure why they don't want to explicitly say that if you don't attend, the auto accept will not work for you uh, i guess they should lah but for some reason they are not so um, the course fees thankfully you can use your skills future credits to pay for them okay so uh, more details are in grab's website you can go and check it out thank you all for watching i hope this video was informative to you just to give you a little perspective of what being a grab walker is like in the western part of Singapore. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting at least once a week to share about my grab journey. Take care and see you all soon.